We're just coming down from the ridge. Right, from the dark of that wood out into the bright sunlight. I can't see a thing on the viewfinder. But we've come out into this um, barley field. Spring barley, I'd say this was. And that's the road we go into up that track. Hopefully we will be anyway. That's, that's the right way that leads back to Henley. And um, this spring barley, it's all got uh, blue purple vetch in it. Now, if, I don't know whether this is by design, but if that is, you know, it would be good organic stuff because it would be giving uh, nitrogen to the barley and also um, it will mean that uh, it may be able to be fed to the animals. Um, you know, vetch is sort of the similar family to lucerne and you know, you get that lucerne hay um, so they may be able to feed feed the uh, the straw to the animals or I don't know, maybe they're going to forage it, I don't know but uh, it's, it's a fantastic view now and that is the um, the Blackmore Vale isn't it Helen? I think so In the uh, it, this path has uh, information all through it it says we're looking over the Blackmore Vale now we get a magazine called Blackmore Vale <laughs> so that influences our view of the words this is called Alton Common. And look at those long shadows there, that's the hill I walked around the other day. The farm nestled in there. That's where we come from. And the air is buzzing. Ooh, midges and all sorts. Horse flies biting your leg. Oh, there's one on my leg now. Um, Helen said, uh, where's the swallow when you need? Oh, it's got two horse flies on me now. I can't stand here. Where's the swallow when you need one? They're all at the same. Can you see them bombing about? I just got to keep an eye on my legs to um, make sure the horse flies don't get on there. This this is uh, must be some fodder because it's got some it's got some peas in this as well. This um, and it might not be barley. It might be it might be rye. Um, but uh, it's quite interesting crop anyway. What can you see, Helen? Are you eating it? Yes. Eating little peas. Now this footpath goes right across the middle, so I'm in the middle of the the crop. It's quite tall. It's about four four foot six tall. So um, it must be for fodder because if a combine tried to get through this, it'd make it gulp. Or oh, oh, it would go. It went through the drum. Right, this is a fantastic corner for wildflowers. I know my sister Victoria would be absolutely thrilled. And we've got St John's Wort and scabious, and down here we've some the panap weed. More scabious, more St John's wort. And there's a very pretty corner here where you can see them all together in the evening sunlight. I think that's ladies' bed straw as well up here, which is on the signs as a, a rare and special plant. That's about the end of our walk. relief to get back onto familiar ground but nice to get onto the unfamiliar. It's a big field isn't it? About 40 acres I'd say. 30 or 40 acres. It's all been cropped down to the roots. Right, until next time. Bye.